Hello. Small video uh, about why line sources, which my speakers are not a perfect line source by far. I mean, they should al almost be twice as long in my room at least. Uh, so next to it is the Bunike replica I once made, which sucked like really hard. Nice drivers, but the setup doesn't work, at least not for me. Uh, there should be a delay and the crossover should be different. And somehow the 3000 euro loudspeakers don't have that. So they, uh, they're not great, in my opinion. Ah, phone, phone's ringing. Yeah, well, let's uh, compare the two and I'll show you what, what is fun about having long speakers. There's a lot of things that is not so much fun, but this is one thing that is fun. So I'm gonna measure the left speaker and the tiny speaker. So first the planar, the long one, the line source up till or at least down to some frequency. I mute the woofer or the bass portion of the planar. So that's the tweeter of the planar. Uh, now I connect the tiny, tiny uh, Fostex. Oh, no, it's not Fostex, it's Fantec. So we're not looking at efficiency or whatever. I'm gonna compensate them to be the same, sort of. Please don't short out. This is at one meter at a random voltage. Tech, which is more efficient. There's a pigeon that wants more eating my cat's food. Go away, pigeon! Puss, get that pigeon for me or for yourself. Okay, so that's at one meter. I'll show you uh, the uh, frequency response, which is rather nice actually. Uh, not bad at all. But, well, it is a nice driver, we already knew that. So I'm gonna move it to two meters distance. Tiny meow through the measurement, but we'll manage. I'll smooth it out a little bit. Maybe I'll show you on the laptop and as well in the images, but then at least I can use this as a voiceover or whatever. Okay, I'll show you what happens. So so you can see the Fountech is purple and it's quite, well, it's, it's louder than my planar for sure. Um, then if you look at the Fountech at two meter, now it is as loud as the one meter measurement of my planar. So this is, this is the Fountech and the planar at two meter distance. So there is still a difference, but uh, yeah, and this, <laughs> 
So the dBs we had like as a, uh, win, a win for the Fountech at one meter disappeared. How come? Well, a true line source, which is, this is not a true line source, decays like 60, uh, 3 dB for every doubling of distance. A point source, as this Fountech is kind of, loses 6 dB. So every doubling we win 3 dB on the planar. And that's what we see here. So at 2 meters distance, although my planar is less efficient, but because of its size, it's almost as loud, or at some frequencies even louder than the Fountech. So if we are listening at 4 meters, then this difference would increase by 3 dB. My planar will gain, well it's not gaining it, but it losses 3 dB less than the Fountech. So that's funny. So if I put some music on here and I walk to the kitchen, I sometimes think, ooh, it's quite loud. Then I'm going over here and it's like, yeah, well, it's not that loud actually. It's, it's quite okay. If you compare that to normal loudspeakers, that would be uh, much louder in the room where you're sitting. So that's a fun fact about semi-line arrays, which is fun. So if I make them floor to ceiling, then this should be uh, true for almost all frequencies. Which is really nice, but who wants two and a half meter long uh, speakers? If you want, please let me know. <laughs> Would love to make some two and a half meter long ones, but you know. Um, yeah, so that's funny, a fun fact about line arrays. Just basic, I mean, there are probably lots of uh, things that makes it work or not, but. I'm not completely into that, but yeah, see ya.